Hey, 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 everyone. Bob is in the house, and tonight we have April month recap the music. Oh my gosh, like <laughs> it's coming in and coming in, never stops. Uh, I thought the March uh, was like the biggest month yet, but like April surpassed all the expectations. Uh, April brought in more albums, more songs. I think it was the busiest yet. Uh, although like March already felt like it was busy, but yeah, goddamn. Wow. Um, first of all, I didn't mention uh, comments last time so definitely we'll do it this time for example i meet shalom uh, the mvp of this uh, monthly recap videos he always comments which is amazing hopefully you know other people will pick up on this but um he mentioned his um uh, picks his songs and albums he listened and uh, you know i've been listening to those as well uh, during that March uh, period of time, a um, lot of a lot of the songs were familiar, but one song that stood out to me was uh, Beanie "Super Lonely," which was uh, even more popular on April actually because of TikTok and like basically social media. And you know, I it's really infectious, amazing song. It's just like happy. It gives you happy vibes, and like I definitely that was my um, finding from that list uh, Amit Shalom commented. Other comments were requests from that March video, requests to react to something else, uh, but not really like, they were not really talking about, hey, like I listened to this, I listened to that. So uh, on this video, definitely like, if you wanna get a shout out, uh, let me know in the comments below what you've been listening to this April. Uh, just, you know, one song or one album is enough, honestly, to appear on this um, section so just let me know what you uh, jamming to but now let's go to albums of April okay so I have a list over here of uh, albums there were not really bad albums at least well this time I didn't want to say oh this is a bad album simply because I didn't like it because a lot of other people did okay albums uh, are the babies blame it on baby um, yeah well reaction on my channel by the way if you're interested uh, Kevin Garrett made up lost time ep there were five songs uh, the one song gone again really stood out to me it was a definitely great song and i discovered this artist because of demi lovato and sam smith they were talking about him on their mainstream and like they were praising him wow like he's such an incredible artist uh, so i definitely gave it a shot and uh, was not disappointed um check him out if you are interested in like i would say traditional pop uh, where like singer songwriter type of deal is involved like sort of alternative just a little bit of alternative in there as well but guitar you can hear guitar as well so uh, not a bad not a bad uh, um, combination you know Kevin Garrett has a good voice as well um, Selena Gomez Deluxe also dropped Selena Gomez Deluxe um, I this Deluxe actually the songs are good all of the new songs are good I was um, shocked and surprised and um, this uh, like deluxe version of something Gomez definitely lifted her album up in my eyes I uh, like m like this album now more uh, than because originally it was meh for me but now I'm okay like all right all right cool songs <laughs> you know uh, division uh, amused in her feelings uh, this is the album like I was so excited to listen to the division uh, their last album morning after was amazing amazing <laughs> so uh, and even then before uh, September 5th I think it was called the album in 2016 they dropped also great album so like I was literally like excited like I was waiting for it and um, unfortunately like I don't know like it just didn't get my attention like that i listened to it a couple of times nothing really stood out to me to be honest it kind of sounded bland comparing to the first two albums but it was but to my ears though i also want to still come back to it a little bit later um when there's a little bit more time and just process it again and see how i feel about it but yeah those are the albums were just okay for me now let's go to best albums of april we have like nine albums can you imagine that nine albums within 30 days are great uh, which i thought are great so uh empress of i'm your impress of uh, like um dance uh, art pop uh, record uh, you, you if you want to dance to it i mean if you want to dance in general like and you miss uh, like 
more like club inspired songs like definitely check out empress of she's amazing also pray for paris by west side gun this album like i'm i'm having it as actually like a um yeah like <laughs> i have i have it here you know what i'm saying like i also have this albums over here and if you're interested in soccer la -la. <laughs> but you know like this album was so cool that i decided to add it on my wall over there and um hip-hop if you're interested in hip-hop bro like definitely check it out De check it out this, um, there's a label called griselda um there's a artist called benny the butcher and um you know he dropped an album last year was dope now this album uh, another artist but but same label uh, west side gun and label is griselda uh, yeah, that camp is dropping some fire lately. So uh, definitely check it out. Sawayama by Rina Sawayama. Uh, we I re reacted on my channel and other uh, reaction channels, pop reaction channels also picked it up uh, gladly because it's a really amazing record. Uh, if you uh, missed on this, uh, you, you might check out my reaction or if you are interested in uh, others reactions like um, React by Ash or uh, AJ, uh, you know, they also do uh, reactions on this album. So definitely like check it out. I, I don't mind <laughs> you checking out other reaction channels. We are all uh, colleagues, you know, over here. Uh, now also we have uh, Lido Pimienta, Miss Colombia. This album is, uh, I mean, she's from Colombia. <laughs> you can see it by the title uh, and it's on Spanish. It's a Latin record, but it's really dope. I really enjoy this record. and. Uh, um, you know, if you want to hear something different, like something um, that is not usually circling around mainstream or pop or circling around what we usually typically listen to, but you want something else, but it's like some actually, like if you are appeal to Latin music, like Spanish music, Hispanic, like uh, Bad Bunny, J Balvin, whatever, but like the, Lido Pimienta is not J Balvin and Bad Bunny, it's a completely different style, but still in Spanish, like Rosalia, artists like this, yeah, I would say I would compare it her to Rosalia although the sounds are still different but if you like Rosalia Lido Pimienta check it out for sure um, if you know Fiona Apple fetch the bold cutters I already reacted to this as well just like yesterday actually like released that reaction um, so definitely cool album as well alternative uh, Cali just to feel alive it's an EP it's not really an album but um definitely still you know it's not a one song it's four songs it's a collection of songs i decided to include it a definitely cool uh release as well yeah, i mean if you know kali witches check it out if you don't know her i mean uh i will suggest to check out kali witches more popular stuff first uh, and then see how you like it r&b soul it's a genre um Alina Baraz, it was divine, also R&B and soul. I mean, if you are into R&B, again, like I'm, I'm saying the genres, so you know what to expect at least. I understand that you know, uh, you, for example, might be liking hip hop, but not R&B, or vice versa, or you just here for pop. Then Rina Sawayama is your choice. So, like, I'm just definitely giving you um, genres to um, check out particularly what you want um alina boras it was divine r&b soul um yeah bro like good release but even better honestly uh, is kiki by kiana led uh, kiana lede kiana lede i think that's the proper way to say it um also amazing album even better r&b record in my opinion because it's more up tempo this one alina boras is more like chill well, honestly, that that's my choice, though. I mean, for you, you might like It Was Divine more because It Was Divine is about like post dreamy, like R and B, like slow, like slower tempo uh, happening with more positive messages. While Kiki is more like generic, not generic, but like um, I would say more mainstream R and B which is more up-tempo, which is more like, you know, gets you moving somewhere and like, it's still like, it's pretty good. Has a lot of female empowerment as well. Um, well, there's also anti-male messages as well, but um, I don't mind it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's still a really amazing record. Like it sounds, for me, it sounds better. Uh, but um, it was divine, also a great album. And then we'll have Dark Lane demo tapes by Drake, also did reaction. 
uh, on my channel if, if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, Drake is being Drake. I mean, Drake is better actually <laughs> than comparing to his last few um, attempts lately. So um, I'm, I'm glad that he came back to form because Drake is one of my favorite artists out there for sure. And yeah, that was my list when it comes to albums. Now, when it comes to songs, let me just quickly go through them. I have 30 songs to go through. Um, I will just name them, like see if you uh, know one of, the, uh, one of these artists and maybe you uh, missed out on these releases and if you are interested, yeah, check it out. You know what I'm saying? So um, also I will uh, link in the description the April 2020 playlist on uh, Apple Music, if you have Apple Music, yeah, I, I just use Apple Music all the time. So, and I, when I come come to these videos, I create like a playlists um, to organize myself, so I, I can share it with you. Um, all right, so we're starting with the Moving by Love for Generator, Calvin Harris. I listened to it finally, and um, yeah. Calvin Harris is doing some good things with this with this love regenerator thing. Also, we have Roses uh, by Saint John. I mean, this song was released like in 2016, but it's finally getting popular right now, and like I wanted to include it as well. Uh, Level of Concern by 21 Pilots, Two C Slide by Drake, uh, Angel by Kelly, which is from her last EP. Aries by Gorillaz, yeah, Gorillaz is 343, like, all three songs are great, I'm, I'm excited for the fourth one already released, um, yeah, I will like, I will review it next for sure. Uh, she by Selena Gomez, that's my favorite song from the deluxe version she did. The Lake by Galantis, um, Give Me Love by Joji. Nothing compares by The Weeknd, The Weeknd also released After Hours Deluxe version, also amazing three tracks he added to the already incredible album. Uh, Super Lonely by Benny, I added it myself this time. Uh, yeah, so XS by Rina Sawayama, uh, SOK to Hases by Lido Pimienta, Until I Met You featuring Nas by Alina Baraz, I'm Ready by Sam Smith and Demi Lovato, Claus by Charlie XX, Jamaica by Fiona Apple, Gone Again by Kevin Garrett, The Scots, uh, Travis Scott and Kid Cudi, they both uh, released a track together, this is amazing, I'm excited for that uh, project. Uh, and then Dealer by RMR, reacted to this on my channel, George Bond by West Side Gun, the album I was talking about, I, 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 picked, I had to pick one song and I, I picked that one, uh, Lauren Jorgi by uh, 50 Feet, 50 Feet is the name of the song, I, I love Lauren and uh, also also this April I was actually into Megan Thee Stallion a lot, I watched her uh, a couple of interviews and I, I found her appealing, I, I think uh, she's uh, humble, she's funny, uh, she's confident, I like, I like uh, her for this and um, yeah she's, she's overall a good person actually and um, I was not really into Megan Thee Stallion this much now I am and like uh, like Hot Girl Summer featuring Nicki Minaj and Title All Assigned. The, that song re was released uh, last year. Uh, also Cash Shit featuring The Baby was also released last year. But you know these are the songs I, I was uh, listening to only now and actually loving them. Uh, these are fun songs to listen to and Big Ole Freak as well. Big Ole Freak. Um, it was released in 2018, but I also. Um, love, 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 love to listen to this. Uh, love is a drug by Empress Of. Uh, you are too precious by James Blake. Cannot forget about James Blake. Nasty by the Baby. I had to. I mean, I wanted to pick one song from Bl Blame It On Baby as well, and Nasty was not a bad pick. Uh, and then Da 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 again by Division. That was. That's the song. Kind of stood out to me. Like towards the end of the record, I was like, oh damn. Uh, last song. Mad at Me by Kiana Lede, uh, Lede. Uh, she um, sampled Outkast's uh, famous song, um, uh, So Fresh, So Clean, and like I was like definitely picked it up, oh damn, hold on, this, this is an Outkast song, and um, yeah, it was really nostalgic and it was really well made anyway, and um, yeah, so these are my picks. This is what I was listening to in April. Sorry that this video was a little bit longer than usual, but we had more music. And also, yeah, uh, that's a wrap. I think um, I have a lot of ideas, actually. I will be releasing more stuff, more content. Uh, 
like upcoming no months because my college is finally being over in one week so yeah bro like i'm i'm ready to release more material for you guys um also add me on instagram music with bob dot 97 uh let's stay connected like this videos um only my true fans uh, click on them and watch them and i appreciate you all so much and i just want to stay closer to you guys like let's connect uh, follow me on instagram and uh yeah we can even talk direct message whatever so yeah this is it uh comment below what were your songs during april and um hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next ones goodbye